What's happening people, Japanimation here and today I will be doing a small challenge that I've heard of. Um, it's basically floating money on top of water uh, and the only thing is you can only use one yen. Literally looks like this, quite thin. It's extremely light. I'll be floating these on water. I've got my glass here. If you've seen my previous video, uh, I had a doll here but I thought that one was a bit too scary and it may scare off uh, viewers because I also heard that if you have some kind of doll uh, in your videos then you should be getting more views rolling the views so I'll be placing it there and I should be getting in the views right now so I've got quite a few one young coins here that just doesn't seem to get used at all I've got 14 one young coins here um, I don't know if, I doubt that all of them can actually fit in this one glass. Yeah, these are basically made out of aluminium, uh, so they're quite light. They actually weigh exactly one gram, and they can be used for weights as well. Uh, so when you're weighing things, I think. And currently, uh, at the time that I'm recording this video, one yen uh, is exactly 0 0.7 pence. I'll be trying to float these on here, and apparently you're meant to be using paper clips to drop it onto the water but you know what yeah forget that forget the paper clips we're in Japan we're using chopsticks got my pair of chopsticks as you can see there uh, if you also haven't seen my previous video uh, I was basically trying to catch chopsticks catch chopsticks I was basically trying to catch objects with uh, chopsticks and it was a great success uh, so yeah so let me try float it. No, 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 not that way. This is actually quite hard. So yeah, now let's try and so that's the one yen. Uh, so now let's try and float it Japanese style without the paper clips. Damn it! That's a fail. Attempt number two. Oh, yeah, boy. Let's see how many I can get floating. Damn it. Well, attempt number three was fail. Yeah, attempt number six. We seventh coin. Yay. Eighth. I think I'm getting the hang of this now. You basically put it right, literally right on the edge of your chopsticks. And you have to try and avoid getting the chopsticks in the water as much as you can. And you just literally, as soon as it touches the water, you drop it. Just make a bit of space. I don't know if I can get this one here. I don't know. It looks like it's going to be extremely difficult. Oh, God. Ah, no, 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 no. It's hitting the edge. So it keeps shifting to one side. This is so tense. It's unbelievably difficult. I'm gonna have to get this. Come on. No! That one's a fail. Okay, okay, okay. I've got this, I've got this. Ah, oh, this is so difficult. This is unbelievably difficult. I think that's seven, maybe it's max. No! Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so seven seems to be my max. And I also heard that if you. This is a washing up liquid and apparently if you put in a drop it breaks the surface tension and then all of them sink so all seven should sink if I put in whoa is it going to sink or not? the surface seems to be a bit warped now I don't know, let me put in another drop oh, oh, damn well all of them sunk they're all in the bottom. So yeah guys, that's the end of the video. This was just a random challenge I wanted to do. And because I've never actually done this before, uh, it was fairly interesting. Uh, if you guys want to try this out, uh, you, I think you can get one yens from exchange places. Uh, but if you want to buy one yens off me for 0 0.7 pence, uh, I'll be more than happy to um, exchange that for you. 
that was the end of the video. Uh, I should be getting more views. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.